Hi, I'm Michelle, and welcome to Unicorn and Centaur, where I make videos for extra equestrians. In today's video, I will be playing with temporary hair color, trying out two different kinds of hair paste and two different kinds of colored hairspray. Since last summer, I have been experimenting with all kinds of ways to dye my horse's manes and tails bright colors. If you're new to the channel, I will leave a playlist of those videos right up here somewhere. I've done DIY hacks as well as permanent and semi-permanent hair dye on my horses. So today we're trying some temporary hair colors. I know some of y'all have been giving the side eye to my horse Artax and his mane and tail that have been orange since last Halloween and I'm thinking, okay, but what if I don't want it to last forever? What if I need it to come out someday? What if I want something that washes out? Today's video is for you. One type of temporary hair color I'm using today is hair paste. It's a thick, creamy consistency that goes on wet and gets brushed once it's dry and washes out with shampoo and water. I have two different brands to try today. One is Opaz Color Paste. Now y'all know I love me some Opaz. Their products are specifically formulated for animals and they have such gorgeous colors. If you order from their website, opaz.com, and you use the code UNICORN at checkout, you can get 5% off your purchase. I think my code is still activated. It's an affiliate code, but I don't make enough sales to make Make a commission so it's just for you guys the other kind of hair paste I have today is just some random packets of something I found at the Dollar Tree by the ounce the Dollar Tree stuff comes out a little bit cheaper but not really by much and also this stuff isn't specifically formulated for animals but I'm not too worried about it hair paste is fairly gentle there's no bleach or harsh chemicals it's just like painting on the hair the other type of temporary color I am experimenting with today is hairspray, colored hairspray. Again, I've got two different kinds. One is from the Dollar Tree, again, and I picked it up last Halloween where they have like the Halloween hairspray. You can only find it there at Halloween, so what is it, March? Halloween stuff should be out in retail stores in the next month or so. <laughs> the other kind of hairspray I have is also a Halloween find, but I found it at Spirit Halloween and it was $4. So I'm hoping since it costs four times as much, it's going to be four times better. More coverage, better color, longer lasting, but we'll see. To apply the paste, I used latex gloves and changed them between colors. I worked the paste into sections of the mane with my fingers and just kind of left them to dry. I got lots of product rubbed off onto the coat of the neck underneath the mane, but because it's a temporary product, it just scrubs right off very easily with a wet sponge. Once the sections of hair are dry, brush them out and you're done. To apply the hairspray, I used gloves again and laid sections of hair on my hand, spraying them fully. I just use my hand as a barrier to keep from getting hairspray on the neck. Just like with the paste, once the spray is dry, you brush. The paste did have some drawbacks for me, the biggest of which was drying time. If I brought a hair dryer with me, things might have gone a lot faster, but I did not bring my hair dryer to the barn. And there's no guarantee Artax would not have assumed that it was some sort of horse eating monster. Can you imagine? as squirrely as our text is, just me like turning on a hair dryer right next to him. <laughs> Most of y'all will probably be air drying. Just remember to factor in drying time into the creation of your look. The other real drawback of the paste is expense. It takes a lot of product to cover a horse's mane and tail. Even if you get the Dollar Tree stuff, the packets were only half an ounce. So that's $2 an ounce. And you'll need at least 20 of them depending on how thick and long your horse's mane and tail are. The Opaz paste is a little bit more expensive per ounce, but again, code UNICORN gets you 5% off. So maybe that helps a little. The paste is also incredibly messy to apply. So if you have a squirrely horse who does not believe in silly things like standing still, take no. The drawbacks of the hairspray were not as annoying to me. Application wasn't as messy as the paste, but if you're having a super windy day, you might want to be careful where the spray goes. Depending on the brand that you use, some hairsprays also make the hair very stiff and crunchy. Brushing can help with the stiff and crunchy feeling, but sometimes brushing will flake the color off. My biggest problem with the hairspray was with one of them in particular, the Spirit Halloween one. Yeah, the expensive one. It didn't even stick to the hair. It just beaded up onto the hair and dripped off. It did nothing but make me mad. So the biggest drawback of the colored hairsprays seems to be the inconsistency between brands. Because I've used other kinds of cheap colored hairspray before at Halloween, and the results I've gotten have been 
here and there. So there's inconsistency in terms of color payoff, wear time, coverage. So it might take some experimenting to find the best colored hairspray. And now that I've said that out loud, I'm definitely going to be doing a best colored hairspray video as we get closer to Halloween, so watch for that. If you have a suggestion for a colored hairspray, a brand that you absolutely love, leave it in the comments below and let me know so I can try it out. The color payoff with the paste is so good. The colors are nice and bright and even did a nice job of covering the leftover orange in our Texas mane, which I was very happy about. They also lasted a lot longer than I expected. I decided not to wash it all off to see how long it would actually last in the hair. And here's what it looked like two days later. Obviously we haven't had any rain in this time. So if you don't actually wash it out and you don't have any rain and your horse doesn't find a puddle to roll in, you might get to enjoy that hair color for a few days. The hairspray was fast and easy. The dollar store stuff covered everything. It sprayed evenly and dried super fast. Honestly, the hairspray dries in like a minute or two as compared to the paste, which can take an hour or more to dry. Brushing out the hairspray didn't take out too much of the color either. And the purple hairspray was still there too days later as well. Another plus to the hairspray is there wasn't as much product staining on the coat underneath the mane. I hope I've given you enough information from my experience with these products in order to give you what you need to make a decision about which product to get for your photo shoot or parade or casual trail ride. My favorite was obviously the dollar store Halloween hairspray. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna save up a wad of cash and wait for those to be put out in the stores this year and then I'm gonna go in and clean them out. Every dollar store in two counties. Watch me. There's gonna be a video. <laughs> thank you so much for watching my video today. And thank you especially to my Patreon members who help make these videos possible. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you all have a magical day.